What's up, two families? Abraham again, and today I'm gonna to show you how to close a gap. Now, this is a really common issue welders face out there in the field, so I hope this video helps y'all out. All right, guys, so right here I got a six inch Schedule 40 pipe. Um, I tacked it up. I got a tack at the 12 o'clock, one on like around nine o'clock and another tack over here by three o'clock. Now what I purposely purposely did for to show y'all, I pretty much went trigger happy on this on this pipe and I uh, opened my gap up. As you can see how big it is, it's probably, looks like half an inch. I think it's big. And I did that on purpose so I can show y'all how to close these gaps. Because when I was a beginner world, this was one of my worst nightmares. Uh, I was scared to death to do this. But in reality, it's not really that hard. It's really, it's really simple and it's really logical once you think about it and to close these gaps. Uh, what you want to do is, the main thing you don't want to do is you don't want to concentrate your, your heat in the middle, all right? That's a big no. You concentrate, you concentrate the heat in the middle, you just stay in the middle like this, you just, and your puddle's just gonna fall and it's gonna touch your tungsten. What you want to do is you want to concentrate the heat on the walls on the side. On the wall, you want to climb up on the walls on the side like this. You want to swing that metal from wall to wall. Never concentrate the heat in the middle, only on the sides. Okay, that's the, that's the main thing. And you want to move your rod according to your tungsten. So if your tungsten moves to the left, to the left over here, your rod moves over there too. Your tungsten moves to the right, your rod moves over there too. And you just keep following it like that. All right. Another key thing to do is you want to keep your rod connected to the puddle as much as possible or all the time because your rod helps that puddle, it helps that puddle uh, levitate, on, levitate on in the air because the puddle stuck to the rod. Once you disconnect the puddle from the rod, your puddle is going to want to fall. All right. So the main thing, the hardest thing about this is actually, I would say is controlling this hand, controlling your rod because you really need to, you really need to be really consistent with feeding the rod. And uh, this does take practice. Uh, keep in mind, uh, the first time I tried it after my friend Juanito showed me, I, um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get it. I had to, had to grind a couple times and it took me a while till I got pretty good at it. So just practice, practice makes it perfect. All right, guys, so you want to remember to climb up on the walls. Climb up on the walls and just swing that metal from, from wall to wall. Never concentrate your heat in the middle. Always climb up on the walls. That's the trick to closing this big gap. Uh, concentrate the shiniest part of the puddle on the wall. Once, once, once you heat up one side and the other side freezes, then you hop over to the other side. Because when I was a beginner road, this was one of my worst nightmares. Uh, I was scared to death to do this. And um, I had to learn the hard way. I, uh, I remember uh, I was working at Interflex and um, I don't know if I went trigger happy where I was grinding a tack off or I was grinding into, into my root or uh, I was doing a repair. I remember as my guy just happened to find myself with a gap four times the size of my original gap. And um, I was there for about 45 minutes trying to, trying, to, try, trying to weld it and I couldn't. I kept sticking to the puddle, my puddle kept falling. And my friend Julian, you know, shout out to him. He, he's passing by. He's like, let me let me give it a try. So he, he gives it a try and keep in mind he probably had the same experience I had. He hadn't been welding for that long, so he couldn't do it. And at the moment there I'm just I was 
I was scared. I was stressing out. I, one thing I, I didn't want to tell my boss that I was incompetent at doing my job. Uh, uh, my dignity was taking a hit, and I was just stressing. So then uh, he goes and calls our other friend. Uh, his name was his name is Juanito, and he comes in talking. You know, he's just playing around. You know, roasting me. He's like, "Man, what happened?" And um, he grinded on my mess. And he starts, he just starts swinging that metal from wall to wall. As he's, as he's doing this, I'm amazed because that metal's just floating in there, nice and beautiful. He's controlling that, and I'm just like, man, what kind of witchcraft is this? All right, guys, well, there I have it. Uh, how to close a big gap uh, with TIG. Um, this is a difficult technique to learn. It did take me a while to learn. So uh, anyways, I hope this video helps you all out. Till next time.